Let's look at another example about uh, how to uh, look at applications of uh, rational expressions, this time in terms of distance, rate, and time. Now, the relationship between distance, rate, and time is that distance equals rate uh, multiplied into time. So rate times time will give you the distance. Now, the application problem we are looking at here talks about Vince Grosso can fly his plane 200 miles against the wind in the same time it takes him to fly 300 miles with the wind. So he can fly 200 miles against the wind in the same time he flies 300 miles with the wind. The wind blows at 30 miles per hour, so they're giving us the speed of the wind. Find the speed of his plane in still air. Okay? How do we do this? How do we come up with an um, equation that will help us find the speed of his plane in still air? So we will go ahead and say, okay, let x be the speed of the plane in still air. Okay. All right, so the information they are giving us is that he can fly 200 miles against the wind in the same time he can fly 300 miles with the wind. Now, let's say what would be his speed when he is flying against the wind, against the wind, and what would be the speed when he's flying with the wind? Now, we are saying his speed in still air is x, right? Now think about it. When he is flying against the wind, he is going to feel some kind of resistance on his plane, right? Because he has to cut through that 30 miles per hour of uh, the wind to fly against it. So when he is flying against the wind, he will have his speed, which is x, minus the speed of the wind because he is flying against it that's the resistance of the wind on his speed, so you will have to consider that and you will end up with x minus 30 as a speed against the wind. In the same way, when he is flying with the wind, he is flying at x miles per hour, but he also has that additional speed from the wind because he is flying with the wind, so he gets that additional boost, you can say, of that 30 miles uh, per hour of the wind with him. So his speed when he's flying with the wind will be x plus 30, okay? Now, how can we go ahead and combine all of these together? Now remember, he flies, uh, we'll go ahead and make sort of like a chart, when he flies with the wind and he flies um, against the wind, okay? Let's talk about his distance, let's talk about his rate, and let's talk about his time. When he's flying with the wind, it says he flies 300 miles, and against the wind he is flying 200 miles, okay? So, with the wind he covers 300 miles, against the wind he covers 200 miles. We talked about their rate, we said their rate was uh, with the wind was x plus 30 against the wind was x minus 30. Time is the same as it tells us in the problem, okay? So what we will do here is use the distance formula to help us come up with uh, an equation for this given uh, problem here. Now remember, your distance formula is distance equals rate times time, so if you have distance equals rate times time, since they are telling us it takes them the same, it takes him the same time to fly in either direction, 
uh, you know, if he's going 300 miles with wind or 200 miles against wind, the time is the same. So you want to go ahead and solve this equation for t. So you want to get t by itself. So basically that means you need to divide both sides by r to get t by itself. So that will give you t equals distance over rate. Okay, and this is what we will use to help us come up with the equation for this problem here. So time equals distance over rate. When he is flying with the wind, his distance is 300 miles. He's, his rate or his speed is x plus 30. When he is flying against the wind, his distance is 200 miles and his rate is x minus 30. Since it takes them, takes him the same time to fly in, uh, with the wind at, uh, for 300 miles or against the wind for 200 miles, we can go ahead and set these equal to one another. And this right here is your equation for this problem. So again, um, just like we did earlier, now let's go ahead and solve this. So your least common denominator will be both of these denominators, x plus 30 times x minus 30, okay? So if I multiply my left with uh, x plus 30, x minus 30, and I can multiply my other side. also by my denominators x plus 30 times x minus 30. What happens when we do that? Now, once you multiply both sides of your equation by your least common denominator, your x plus 30, x plus 30 will cancel out and you will be left with x minus 30 times 300 so and on the other side x minus 30 x minus 30 will cancel out and you will be left with 200 times x plus 30 okay again in this case if you could have uh, if you wanted to you could have just cross multiplied and you would have come up with the same uh, statement as we did here. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what happens when we uh, solve this. This will give you 300x minus 9,000 and the other side will give you 200x plus 6,000. Okay bring your x's on one side so I'll go ahead and move my 200 x on the other side which will give me 100 x mm, I'll take my 9000 to the other side and 9000 plus 6000 will give me 15,000 okay to solve for x divide both sides by 100 and you will end up with x equals 150 miles per hour. And again, if you want, you can go ahead and check your answer, but uh, the speed of the plane in still air is 150 miles per hour. Okay?